Hello everyone, as you can see I'm filming this this way and on my phone for this and this is be the uh, 300 subscriber special so thank you very much for everyone for uh, for getting me over 300, that's, that's quite a shock really so uh, thank you very much and uh, as you can tell by the, the title below this is um, the day in the life of a volunteer so this is the night before, this is Friday night and um, I just thought I'd do the intro and everything now so that as it follows on it will it'll then start on the day so like i said thank you very much to all the subscribers thank you very much for all the comments and everything another layout update will be very soon and uh yeah enjoy the day of a volunteer so boom hello everyone and by the introduction, welcome to the day in the life of a volunteer. So uh, I'm now heading to the Midhands Railway, as you can see. Um, yeah, about eight in the morning, getting ready to go. I haven't had any breakfast yet, but I say morning, everyone. Obviously, if you're watching in the afternoon or the evening as well, you're also welcome. Um, yeah, so now now heading down there, down these nice little country roads. And uh, hopefully get there for about half eight, nine-ish. Cool. Catch you in a second. Hello. So, here we are. That's one funky hairstyle I appear to have going on. Anyway, enough about me. As you can see, now crossing the bridge. If I... Oh, I can't seem to switch the camera around while I'm on, on this. That's a pretty poo for the S7. So... Here we go, we have, definitely have the 9F in steam, and I can't see what else, unless one's already gone. Schools doesn't appear to be about, and I just said, uh, if you can see over there, next to the Ivor, is 828. So yeah, I don't see anything down there either, that's the other end of the line as you come over this rather fancy bridge. The Harry Potter Bridge, as they call it. I was using a couple of other films as well, but the last main one is the bridge from King's Cross, if you don't know. King's Cross is old, old big bridge. So yeah. And uh, come down the lovely steps. I feel like Harry Potter. After he's had the big fight at the end. A bit sleepy. So yeah. Oh. If you can see just in the distance there, a couple of uh, S15 boilers for the Yuri, Yuri guys, Yuri Preservation Society. And as you can see in this lovely little, do not enter, you're not allowed in here, I am, but you're not. Unless you're a volunteer and a member. And there's another S15 just there, number 499, which is one of the Yuri boys. I think it's the oldest, oldest S15 in preservation and anything it's 1923 I think it's there there's only two Yuri ones left and that's one of them and they have the other in the workshop right now it's the important time cup of tea time see you in a bit and here we go it's a bit of a dark chilly day but there's the rest of the rabble coming across We have Malk, Mick and Mike, all the M's, the three M's of course. Doesn't look as though there's going to be many of us today. But as I come round from our container, there we go. Have the nine F there. You see you've got the Ivert, the standard. Uh, oh eight, but it's not, I think it's a twelve. And the schools isn't here, so I assume the schools is already out. Right, today's task, sort out this, and here is the ash pan, and it's been primed a very long time ago to winterise it, so uh, today we will be taking the covers off, inspecting it, and then basically repainting it, so that it's nice, one, it's winterised, two, it's ready to go on the boiler when the boiler's done. As you can see behind me, there's the boiler, upside down. Waiting to go in the boiler shop, which is at the back there. 
of the carriage shed. So, uh, yeah, get this, where is he, there he is, get this stripped and done and get ready to go. Sounds like, I thought it sounded like an engine coming through. It is. What have we got? It's the Hampshire Diesel. I don't know if you can see that in the background. Zoom in. Nope, it won't zoom in this mode. That's the Hampshire Diesel coming in for today. So uh, we'll get a bit done here. God knows where the schools is. Yeah. It's not on yard. Oh, this is, this is the wheel drop. Wheel drop, yeah. It's regular now, that thing. Yeah, it's good to see. It's our lovely ash pan. So oh, there she is. All of them working lovely. Oh yes. That surprised me anyway. 
nasty tool at the moment. Scrubbing my way around all the nice little delicate areas. My trusty tool. I'm about to get the older linisher out. Cover some of the rusty areas. And yeah. Carry on cleaning. Ooh. Here's the view coming another way from the bridge in towards the engines. Just see the tender of 828 there. Hear a few people hammering away on it. Malk and Mike. It's a rather large selection of wheels. The two Yuri boilers. There we go. Look around the yard. There he is. Boss man. So there we go. One side, apart from a little bit in the corner there, linished, ready to go. So I've got that plate in the middle there. But yeah, I was for some reason I was going to apologise for not being able to film it. But then I thought it's a bit silly if you have a power tool in one hand and then. A video camera on the other hand, which seems a bit a bit ridiculous, so I shan't be doing that. Right. If one's now, what is the time? The time's now half past ten. Ooh, a bit more shiny. So everyone's now going for a cup of tea, and I will take you to go see 828. The long way. By uh, following me. You can see in the yard. Oh, no, you can't because there we go. The 12th LMS built. There we go, 1945 in Derby. 12.049. There's Lance up a ladder some light in there. So here's the, the lovely tender. Lance up a ladder, scrub on the roof for the cab. This is all first up coat going on. It's called Union Green. It's the wrong green obviously but it's only the first top coat. Everyone's gone for a tea Lance. Cool. Just making sure you know. Give me fruit. These aren't uh, from Bogey. These. This isn't. This is ours. As you can see, see around the front. No shiny front at the moment. Almost a shiny first bit of top coat put on. Bridal bots up and painted. Painted in a grey undercoat. There's a panel from the main line. Of course, we come over to the tender. Got the reverser in the corner there, attached to the bridle rod. Open at the front. And yeah, lovely place for five tonne of coal. Toolbox on the side. That's it. Head back down that end, go for a cup of tea. Just zoom in there, see Lance working on the cab roof. Oh, it's gone dark again. There we go, there he is. Zooming in just as 
92212 comes into the platform I don't know what's, if it's more in time or not Lance is tapping on oh, the sound of the 9F I do apologise for this all being in upright rather than lengthways, but I kind of started it. Some of it's, some of it's, what is it, landscape, some of it's portrait. But once I started doing it one way, I don't want to flick about too much. It's quite a dark day, overcast day here today, so. Oh, we have a crossover now. Let's come in. And I think I could hear the, the Hampshire in the background as I traverse these points. Try not to fall over. Right. Carry on doing a bit more more work on that. So I'll uh, see you in a bit. Wonder if they're doing the 33. Do you see that center spring jump then? No. She went over this set of points. No? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I thought it was coming out the box. <laughs> Doesn't look like they're connected to anything though. No, possibly moving the black five. Because the schools might be in the wheel drop, as I haven't seen it about. They've been doing a fair bit of work on the Black Five. Yeah, like yeah. Oh! Try and watch out so I don't fall over the points again. Here you go, we've still got Lance on the roof there. We've got Mick down one side, possibly painting the valance. And then we've got Malk down the other side, who looks as though he's possibly sorting out the cylinders. We've got Mick here, who's 
now we're about to do a cardinal sin. Well, not really, but I'm gonna go take a selfie with the standard. Apparently it's something he doesn't normally do, but there he goes, look. You can't have your goggles on. <laughs> Oh, look at that pose. <laughs> See, everyone else is hard at work. Clearly I'm not. I'm just waiting for feeling to come back in my hands. Oh, look, another one. Another one at another angle. See, this is the important stuff you really want to see, isn't it? None of that hard work and graft. So yeah, we've got the 12, zoom out a bit because coming over these points, it's going to be bumpy as hell. Now, yeah, coupled up to the black five. Sorry, it's a bit grainy, but I'm zoomed in a fair way. And it's quite dark, so I'm having to keep adjusting the light on the camera. Here we go. Some real hard workers. <laughs> What's happening? Are you getting ready to pull something out? Black five by the looks of it. Can't see the schools in there though. Sorry for the super spin round, I'll try and keep it as soft as possible. You see the 33 in the distance that I was on about earlier. Oh, sorry again from another super, super giant turnaround. I assume they're going to stick that possibly in the yard. So what I will do is while they're moving that, come move out of the way. Although I don't want a black five in my lap. That would hurt. Are they just going to stick it over the ash pit? Possibly. She's lit. Definitely see she's lit. I don't know if I zoom in you can see the... You might just be able to see a little bit of the haze coming out of the chimney. Now that looks like it's it for now. Oh, Christ, that is special. Um, enough faffing around for now. Let's get back to doing some work. I do do some work. Oh, right. I don't know why I keep doing that. While I'm uh, waiting for some feeling and come back in my hands a little. I know people might say, why well, when you're wearing gloves? But uh, I, the vibration goes through my hands no matter what the gloves. So uh, as you can see here, we've got the Ivert 41312. See, there you go. There's the back of 828. There's the standard that's recently just come back in service. Really good job of the paintwork on this. I mean, look at that. 
zoom in, really nice paintwork. Really, really good. That's Ollie from the railway. And the fish rails. Swanager's tender. Going on there? Yes. Don't fill in the oven paint. No, is that the uh, cylinder? Yeah, well, we do what the other side, put it inside in there. Cool. I'm going to go and cut a bit of angle. It's looking good. Getting Yeah. Nice and shiny valance, what we like to see. Need to finish this side of the. Uh, need to finish that side of the black at the top now. When I get some time. Oh. A big spanner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some nice shiny new bolts. Nuts. Nuts, yeah. even, yeah. Aha! Oh, oh, Mr. Dave. We're just giving it a tip of weight up and yeah. going to get some grey paint on it and make it look reasonable. Yeah. Yeah, we did a lot of work on it about three years ago. <laughs> yeah. But the primer on it's still good, that's why we haven't taken it right yes, apart. No, no need to take it like that. So it's, gonna, no. it's just getting some of the pitting and the rubbish out of it though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was, yeah. Yeah. A bit more Nelson Bradley. <laughs> well, you never had a new one, right, did you? Did you have the original one up there? Uh, was it a new one? Yet? No, this had one made, but it was about six millimetres, you know. It was oh. really flimsy compared. So, was it your choice to make it this thick, or was it just that was the material at hand? Probably. Well, base, base sheet was the material at hand. Yeah. Um, at the time. But it's just done dividends, isn't it? Yeah. I must remember how thick the original was, but uh, oh, well, it's a little bit thinner. Mm. Oh, I, I can't without thinner drawing. But all the brackets and all the linkage and that yeah. are all original, aren't they? Yeah. They don't come off the original. Anyway. Yeah, they say. I don't know whether that was original or not. The, uh, the that one door. is. That door is. Yeah. Uh, the only one, if I remember what we had made, was this one. That was the only, the only one we had renewed. Oh, yeah. How I, how I remember that is if you look at the. Hang on. I might be telling the fib here. It's hard to tell now. I was looking at the uh, rivets down Yeah. I think it was that one down there. Yeah. I was looking at the river heads, you know. Oh, yeah. Modern. Yeah. That far as... That was the river. Yeah. That was the Seven Valley. Right down that sea.
in there. Go. Just taking a brief wander up to show you a bit more of what's been going on up this end today. Just almost finished painting the ash pan. I'll come down and show you that. It's the Black Five pumping out tons of black smoke. Got Lance still on the roof. How's it going? Right. Lovely, nice right. bit of shiny green yeah. in there. Get down here. Cool. Lovely shiny valance. Hey, we've got this one done as well. Are you not doing this bit? I think it's about to start to rain again. Sure. <laughs> Yuri boys building 506. Oh, here comes a 9F. Just as the uh, skies really start to darken, a few splodges of rain. Can we see 9F come through through the cab of the Black 5? Yeah, there it comes. Tender first. So what we got around here? Haha. Just find my way through. Something nice. It's alright. Rain's starting again, unfortunately. Not what we want. Oh, there we go. Side work on the cab and on the roof. Ready to go. Typically, as it starts to starts to spit a bit, come back through the side here. Trundle down. I'll pause it till I. Uh, I get there, so I'll see you in a sec. Here we go. Nice bit of grey paint on there. Jump under if you're on, yeah. I'll move over. Watch your head, Zoe. Yeah, your watch head. your greasy bits. Yeah, watch out, Zoe. Watch it right by your head. Bits. You got a bit wet? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a bit wet. Yeah. You've got a wet face, yeah. And there we go. The problem with being outside. Just after we painted. See it all running down there. Just as we're just about finished the areas, the rain comes down. And the same with the guys up at the engine as well. So, the trials and tribulations. It's fine in the summer, 
in the winter and we'll struggle to cover it now because obviously it's wet, wet in many ways. It's still raining in patches. So uh, we'll see how the weather goes. Cool, will do. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Again. Forward. Yeah, do it two or three times, mate. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. Thank you. No worries. Very tight spaces under there, as you can uh, as you can see. Uh, it was just a uh, just put the cylinder drain cocks under the cylinder. I'll show you in a in a in a minute. And uh, obviously, because it's not linked up to the cab yet, the only way to do it to activate the the uh, was at the bar pulling it back and forth. It would then be linked to the cab. Is to climb under and move it yourself. So uh, that was my job. So yeah, I'll show you the uh, train cocks underneath in a minute. Cool. That's better. Where did I put the split pin? Oh, get right, get right. Mind your head. To me. Yeah. Keep one of these. No, it's probably the other side. Anyway, I'll sort of set out and we'll have a look next week. Locate where these are. So that's why I give it away. Let them up. Telltale on it. Yeah. Clip. Well, that's a pointless clip around there, isn't it? And, uh, right, like, let's take it off here. Let's go and have a look. That works now, isn't it? I'll put all that, I'll put all that, I'll put all that all the way down here. And I'll just try it all the way down here. Mm -hmm. So, if we come under here. My rod was attached to this bit here, coming in to one and to the other, and then the copper pipes would come off these, and then go out through the front, through that, a little bit there, and out. So that's what I was just doing. Lovely blue sky now. Just a horrible little burst of rain. But, um, how much we can do about that. So, a uh, quick cup of tea, and then we'll get on from there. Well, that's it for today. Today's been rained off, as you can see behind me from the cab roof. So, time for a wash up. Right, thanks for watching. Time to head on home now, back in the car. And, uh, yeah. That's been my day down at the mid Hans working on 828. So, uh, thank you very much. See you soon. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for commenting. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't before, if you like the video. Um, all comments welcome. So, uh, see you next time. Cheers.